What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode series. This is episode number 58 guys and in the last episode I asked you guys to get over 50 likes to see the end of the season here in the championship and you guys went absolutely insane on the likes. We've smashed well over 50 likes and it's not even been a day of me uploading the video. I can't thank you guys enough for the support that you are showing on this series and in particular on that one video but yeah we are going to things here you can see that we have two games left one against Notts County away from home and then we've got a final match on the 6th of May against Cardiff at home and we will also have a little look at the league table as you can see by the league table we are only three points behind Crystal Palace but of course that derby draw did set us back a little bit I was a little bit of a drawback in our chances of maybe catching up with Crystal Palace. But we still got a chance. Two games to go. We just got to hope that Crystal Palace do mess up. And then we've got a really, really good chance as long as we win our last two games of winning the championship title. So here we go into the match here against Notts County. Of course, we are away from home. But that shouldn't matter too much as we go into this match. And for the last two matches, because they're quite spread out. I'm going to be picking my strongest side, my most reliable side, and that is the 4-2-3-1 formation with I, Baker, Redmond, Berahino, Poliak, Bigger Romana, Hong Chul, Blackett, Milo Savic, Christie, and then Heaton in goal. I'm really hoping this is a strong enough formation and team for me to go ahead and pick up a decent enough result in this match, as it is much needed. We can't get anything less than a win. We need to go out all guns blazing in this match. Oh, here they go, crossing it into the middle, and they get a header in. And they've actually scored within seven minutes here. What the hell is going on? Why didn't you save that, Heaton? What is going on there? That's literally the first chance in the game. How did Blackett not win that, and how did Heaton not save that? This is a dreadful start to the match. And this probably means now that we're not going to have any chance of winning the title because of that re really good piece of defending there by me and that really good goalkeeping by Heaton. Lewis Baker over the top through ball to Nathan Redmond. Surely, how has he saved that? How? That is such an easy chance and I've fluffed up the finish again. Let's just bear in mind that Notts County are a side that have won how many games this season? Four games, I do believe, actually. So, really, I'm shocked that we're 1-0 down here and maybe that's just a sign that we are not going to be winning the title unless Crystal Palace slip up or we somehow get a comeback in this match. I really don't see us doing too good in this match. Bottom of the table. That's right, they're bottom of the table. They've won four games this season, four matches. They scored one of the most stupid headers I've seen all season. And considering we've worked our asses off trying to get to this position that we are at now, I'm just so, so angry that they're 1-0 up in this match. Maybe they deserve to be 1-0 up, maybe they do. We haven't created too many chances. We did create a couple of chances, you know, we created one shot which is quite good, but to be honest, I would have expected better from a team that have 80 points gap between us. So really, I'm hoping in the second half we can do a little bit better because we need to pick up a win in this match. Corner to Notts County. Let's see what will happen. Their second cross in the match. Will they get a header in? Of course they will. Will they score? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, that was almost, almost into the back of the net. What on earth happened there? I have no idea. Look at this. The header comes in. He hits it. Luckily, he was offside. I don't know how he was, but he was actually offside in that situation. Luckily for me, that is. Oh, just give up the ball, please. And oh my god, how have they won it there? They really should have scored that. How have they not scored that? Or was that a block? It was a block. Thank god for Blackett was there because, again, we've completely messed up in defence. Had it not been for that... That would have been the second goal in the match, I'm sure of it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I don't look at the fixture list after this match. I just can't. I'm absolutely devastated that we've lost this match. How? We were in a great position to go ahead and pick up a win here. It was like it was written in the stars. Like I said at the beginning of the match, they scored one of the most ridiculous headers I've seen in my life. And it was just unbelievable. We had our chances on goal, yes. They had a few more than us, yes. But they were bottom of the table. They'd only won four games this season. 
I'm going to advance now and we are going to find out. Have Crystal Palace won their match? That is the big question. Yes, they have. Well then, that's it. We haven't been able to win it. That is a real, real shame. I would have thought that we would have won it. But unfortunately, this time, it's not meant to be. That is a real shame. And I thought that we were going to have a great chance to win it there. But I guess it wasn't our day. We end up losing the match to a team that are bottom of the table, as you'll be able to see here. They've won four matches this season. Three before that win that they got. Why they even played for a win, I have no idea. Because what is that result going to do for their season? They're going to get relegated anyway. But for me, that would have been a really, really crucial match to get a win in. But unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And Crystal Palace have ended up winning. I can't be too disheartened though. Because we have actually played pretty decently this season. We did have a really good run before that loss against Notts County. We won so many matches. And I'm very, very happy with how the team has played. We have a little look here at a final scout report though of Matt Wilczynski. He is one of my youth players and oh my god. Does he look like a beast? Look at that. 73 overall and 17 years old. And the best thing about it. Do you want to know the best thing about it? I'm going to go ahead. Okay, he's already on my shortlist. You're going to have a little look at him in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and promote him. I've already had a little look at his stats or his skill moves and uh, weak foot. They are pretty insane, to be honest. So, I'm going to the wrong one there. We want to go to the Youth Academy. See a little see a little look at all of the players that we have here. So, we've got Danny Simmington. Doesn't have the best of potential. So, I'm going to leave him in there for now. Connor Dunn. He looks really, really good, actually. I have to admit. May have to sign him. But, Matt Wilczynski... I'm going to go ahead and sign him right now because he looks like an absolute beast. So let's take a little look at Matt Wuchinski here. And he looks like a pretty good player, I have to admit. Look at those physical stats. Finally, a good youth player that has decent enough physical stats. And he's got pretty decent agility as well. I can imagine this guy will turn out to be a very good player for us. 81 attack positioning, 71 vision. And he's got some really, really nice, well-rounded technical stats there. Only his defending, which really does lack. But are you ready for this? Are you ready? We have a five-star skiller in the side. And for some reason, he can play cam, CDM, and centre-back. But I'm going to be mainly playing him as a cam. Five-star skill moves. And he looks like a pretty awesome youth player. Let's be honest. 73 overall. Age of 17. He's going to be getting bags of game time. And I may actually play him in the final match of today's episode against Cardiff. I was originally thinking of simming this match here against Cardiff. But you know what? I'm so desperate to give Wilczynski a go in this match with the 5 star skills. And because this match doesn't actually matter in our season anymore, we're going to get promoted no matter what. We just can't win the title anymore because Crystal Palace, the assholes that they are, they actually managed to finish on 100 points. And it's not over yet. We've got one more game. So why not give it a go? We'll just have a little bit of fun in this match because this result doesn't matter. Even if we lose this match, it won't matter whatsoever. I think that's really shown by my lineup here. I've picked a very, very weak lineup to the usual one that I pick. I've got Browning in at right back. That's when you know this is weak. I've got Watma Blackett, Ben and Williams. Um, we got Dele Ali. We got Wild, and then up front we've got a trio, or I should say, we've got Corne, and then we've got a trio of Milmore Pay. We've got Wilczynski with the five-star skill moves. He looks awesome. I can't wait to try him out. Those scoop turns and Ronaldo chops. I can't wait for it. And then we've got Rolando Aarons out on the wing. And I've got Heaton still in goal. Because I don't want to be conceding bags of goals. So let's go into this match and see how much fun that we can actually have with this team. Oh my god, they've actually got through on goal there. And they've scored the first goal of the game. And Cardiff have actually scored there. It's not going to really matter, to be honest. I, it's kind of a bittersweet feeling because my goal difference will go down. But it doesn't really matter, does it? We've been promoted to the Premier League. And really, this match was only just about fielding some of the players that just don't get enough game time in the normal games. What? What? How has that gone in? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what I get for fielding players that never play in the first team. But come on. You've got to be winning a header there. That's a textbook header. And he's actually been out-jumped there by Pesamek. I cannot believe that. Look at this. Cross into the middle. A header. 
And then what is the defender doing there? It's almost like he helps him. Look, he helps him get it on target. He pushed him into the ball. And it was very, very simple for the striker to put it into the back of the net. Oh, dear. I've been absolutely done there. Oh, my God. It's 3-0. It's not even half time. Jesus. <laughs> Why didn't I sim this match? I should have just simmed the match and I would have not been embarrassed whatsoever. And I may may have even actually picked up a win. Oh, my God. I just see my goal difference slowly diminishing. I've had just as many chances as them on goal. They've literally got so lucky in this match. That's probably the first good chance that they've actually had. And they've scored the third goal of the match. This is turning into a bit of an embarrassment here. Wait for the run. There we go. Dele Ali. Take a shot from outside the box. Oh, what a goal it is. And that is a, a goal worth waiting for. What a goal it is by Dele Ali. What an absolute wonder strike. I can't believe that's gone in. But, wow. That's a bit of a consolation goal, yes. But I would have liked to have scored a goal like that in this match. And I finally have done. What a goal it is. Contender for goal of the series. A lovely goal from outside the box. Round the keeper and a brilliant finish by Dele Ali. Look at that. Strike from outside the box. The defender can't do anything. And it's a wonderful goal to reduce the deficit here. So there we go, guys. We finish off the championship season with a loss. That is two in a row. So really not the best of episodes. I thought we would have actually had a good chance to go ahead and pick up the title. But instead, we've lost two games in a row. But to be honest, I don't care because I had fun in this match. I had loads of fun playing with all the new players. Dele Ali put a big smile on my face when he scored an absolute wonder goal. And really, we deserve more in the match, I have to be honest with you. We had 10 shots in total, and we definitely deserved... It definitely deserved to be a draw at the most, really, to be honest. I don't think it deserved to be a loss for us. So in that match, Matt Wilczynski, on his debut, got man of the match. And well-deserved, really. Tom Eaton, God, he was awful in that match. Seriously, so was Blackett. A full rating... A full rating for Blackett. Our whole defence really was absolutely terrible. You, you look at the shots there. It really does say it all. It should have been a draw. But unfortunately, that's just how things go sometimes. And we got to deal with it. And it was a fun match to play. And that's all I can say really. Squad report for this month, guys. If you do want to see any players that I have growing, then of course, feel free to pause the video and take a little look. I'm going to blast through this pretty quickly because we've had a look at it quite a lot. Uh, so we're going to quickly take a look. Jerome Binham Williams up to 70 overall. And Ross Wilde is also up to 65 overall, which is good to see. We'll only be looking at the players that have increased. Wow, Matt Wuchinski, 17 years old, 74 overall already. He played really good in that last match, I have to admit. Lots of players that have actually improved by plus 4, plus 2, plus 1. But then we've got a couple of players that haven't actually improved whatsoever. We've got Tommy Lee there who's starting to decrease. His physical stats are starting to decrease rapidly. But I don't see how that affects his goalkeeping stats. I shouldn't really decrease his overall if I'm going to be honest with you. Have we got any other players that have grown for this month? I mean, we've got some nice growth in there, I have to admit. Especially Jordan Ive up to 77 overall plus 4 this season. Saido Berahino scored 29 goals in 43 appearances. What a beast he is. He's been in excellent form this season and I'm not going to be selling him next season. It's as simple as that. May look to bring a couple of legends back to the club. We'll have to wait and see. But we're having a little look at the other players here. Remy Bakar. Look at that. 88 heading accuracy. 81 finishing. Looks to be a bit of a clinical striker, although his attack positioning really does suck, I have to admit. Only 65 there, but he does look like a bit of a beast in the air. 6 foot 2, but he's got low, low work rate, so that could be a bit of a problem. But a really good player for the future, that's for sure, and I can't wait to start using all of these youth players. We've got so many good youth players, and I can't wait to start utilising them. But there we go, that is the squad report for this month. And all the players that have grown for the final squad report of the season. As we are coming to the end of the season here, guys. We're almost into the next season. And, well, I, I just want to have a little look at the league tables. Also, the top scorers and all of that. We'll take a little look at the league table first and see what's happened there. Crystal Palace have... Oh, my God. They've topped it with 103 points. They literally went on, I would say, about a 20-game win streak. And we'll also have a little look at the playoffs and see who actually won and got promoted with 
us and Crystal Palace back to the Premier League. And we can also see any of the other teams that have been relegated. Ipswich, Warsaw and Notts County back down to Football League 1. And we will also have a little look here at the FA Cup. So Chelsea won the FA Cup there. A little bit interesting to see. They beat Arsenal in the final there. Man City beat Spurs in the Capital 1 Cup final. And you can see there, we're at the top corner there. We lost to Yeovil Town, of course, in the round of 16. Could have actually got far there, but Cardiff City, the team that actually beat us, actually have got promoted back to the Premier League. I would have liked to have seen Burnley back up in the Premier League, I have to admit. But they did get beaten 3-2, and then Nottingham Forest in the final got beaten 2-1. They beat us in the final game of the season, so it's good to see that they've actually got even more success there. We'll have a little look at the top scorers and all of that jazz. We'll have a little look. So Berahino, he finishes top scorer, of course. Balassi, a surprise, actually, a real surprise, to be honest, because he's not actually a striker. He finished second on 25 goals for Crystal Palace. He had a real insane end to the season. We don't really have too many players on the uh, scoring sheet apart from that. We really don't. We don't even have one single player there that has more than 10 goals. So that's unbelievable. Berahino was our main scorer this season. And it's clear to see that. Balassi finishes top assister as well. So he's finished his second highest goal scorer and top assister. Jordan Ibe is only one behind him though with 11 assists. And of course Balassi getting 12. And we'll have a little look. Have we got any other players that have got any other assists? Wow. So it's literally just Jordan Ibe. And also Berahino doing all the work for the team there. And that's clear to see there. We'll have a little look at clean sheets. Tom Heaton with 22 clean sheets. And the glitch Price there, who is a glitch player. He actually got 21 clean sheets. Crystal Palace were on a mad one at the end of the season. They were really, really dominating. I'm surprised they didn't actually overtake us in some of the stats. With regards to yellow cards... Not really too interested in that, but if you do want to see it, then of course, feel free to pause the video. And red cards as well. That's a lot of red cards, actually, I have to admit. Four red cards for Will Packwood there, the Birmingham City defender. But apart from that, that is pretty much all the stats for this season. Right, so here we go, guys. It is the end of the season now. I think I've shown you everything that I did need to show you. And apart from that, guys, I really do hope you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode. And if you have and you do want to see some Barclays Premier League action with Portsmouth here, do go ahead and smash the like button, guys. I would really appreciate it. Let's see if we can do 50 likes again, like we did on the previous episode. That was absolutely unbelievable, the support that you gave on the last episode. If we could do that again, that would be greatly appreciated, guys. Also, don't forget to vote on the straw poll. I will be ending that in a couple of days' time, and we will decide what we are going to do from that straw poll from there on out. And apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, if you are new around here. But other than that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.